This right here is the paper lifter experiment. I show this a lot on my channel and I show it when I do the gravity flyer. There's a reason for this. This is real simple. It's just a piece of paper, piece of aluminum foil glued to it. Same thing on the bottom. We have a piece of paper with aluminum foil here. And we have right here just the piece of paper. It's folded, made a hole in the center. We folded it, made it look like a UFO. What is it doing? We have this right here that gets charged as well. It's a piece of PVC. Wood would actually be a bad thing for this because wood sucks in the charge. Now, in this experiment, what I do is I take high voltage here and high voltage here, positive here, negative here. What happens? Well, so I can hold this up. Let's take that off. This right here will come up and it goes like this. What is it doing? Well, it's not working on ion wind, I can tell you that right now. It has to do with the value of the charge on this. We are taking this from a simple part of the experiment where it's a moving item in between two fields and we're making it charged. When we charge this, it then pushes against this piece here and creates a force. This force will now always be there because now Instead of this being just the dielectric, it has now become a charged part in this field. It now goes to a field that has more charges to it than the smaller one here. Therefore, we have force in one direction. And it will always create force in one direction. You could put two of these on a, uh, just a straight board here and then let them spin all day, just like T.T. Brown did. This is the understanding that he knew that most of us don't. The charges are working and that's what he's doing. This right here, put together, is a capacitor that works in one direction. It now will take a field here, a field here, no field here, charge it in between and create this charge, pushing on this charge, which creates force. You can take this and put it on a scale, just like this, and create force in a downward direction. This is a true understanding of charges when you do this experiment. It's one of the most revealing things you'll ever do if you ever wanted to get into static electricity. Now, you could take a Wilmhurst. You could take a uh, Van der Graaff. You could take high voltage DC as long as you thin it out enough and get rid of most of the amps, and it still makes this experiment work. This experiment's not working on ion wind. The value of this right here, this piece of paper, is way too high of a value in weight than ion wind can ever do to lift it. If you've ever made an ion lifter, and again, you have to make one to find out, if you overdo the weight, it'll never lift. There is a ratio there, and you cannot change that ratio no matter how much you want to until you get to the charge portion. At that point, you can change the charges in anything that you want and it'll create lift. Normally I'd end the video right here, but I thought I'd answer this question now. Can you get anti-gravity out of this experiment? The answer is no. Force is simply force. When you change the charges here, you're creating force in one direction. That will not equal anti-gravity. You must take a secondary force and add it to this. And what do I mean by that? some kind of force that will actually break the gravity or a lifting force in itself. A separate ion wind portion to this would do it. Now if you can create enough force to overcome the weight, then a simple amount of lift beyond that that will move with gravity can do it or you have to break gravity itself. This experiment deals directly just with force. It is not an anti-gravity lift. As you guys know, I normally work on the Gravity Flyer. I do a Facebook group for the Gravity Flyer. Guys, if you have anything that you want to add to the conversation, you can go and add it there. As long as it has something to do with the Gravity Flyer, we're good to go. And as long as you're courteous to everybody, it's not a place to downgrade anybody. This is a place for everybody to get together and share ideas. Anyway, if you like what you saw here today, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Do all those fun things, and have yourself a great day. Thank you. Link will be in the description.